There is a there is a mandated process established by law to conduct this recount. The goal, everyone's goal, ought to be to ensure that every valid vote is counted. That's how you respect the will of the voters. What we saw over the weekend, starting Thursday with the governor's press conference and continuing right on through the weekend with statements from the governor and Senator Rubio and President Trump, is an attempt to undermine people's faith in what's happening in Florida and ultimately undermine people's faith in our democracy. That's the wrong approach. It's a dangerous approach. What we ought to be doing is let the process play out, make sure that every valid vote is counted, and then we live with the results. Governor Scott, there's no, let me be clear about one more thing. There is at this point no fraud. There's no evidence of fraud, not according to the Secretary of State, not according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, not according to the monitors. There is no fraud here. What there is, is a years long attempt by Governor Scott, years, uh, that Governor Scott has spent trying to use his power to manipulate the outcome of elections. So, these outlets, I mean, basically, we use them every day for definitions. <laughs> But what we've seen now in the governor's decision to try to use his own state police to seize the counting machines before this election is even over is another terrible example of the way that he's trying to use his power to influence the outcome of the election by trying to prevent votes from being counted. Everyone has an interest in making sure that every valid vote counts. There is a process to do it. We need to let that process play out. We can live with the results. The problem is the governor apparently has, because he's seen his lead shrink by close to 80%, uh, is nervous about what those results might be. This is a democracy. Let's count the votes. Let's let the will of the voters prevail, but let's make sure that it's all of the eligible voters and not just the ones that Governor Scott chooses to focus on. Okay. Florida's not the only state in America that's still counting votes. It's happening across the country. There are Republican governors and Democratic governors who have taken the very clear and correct position that we need to count all of the valid votes cast, including in Arizona, where the candidate is not the governor. She's a colleague of mine, but to her credit understands, as does the governor of Arizona, why it's important to make sure that every valid vote counts. That's the right approach. The wrong approach are the efforts that we've seen to try to call into question, and we've seen this by the governor, we've seen it by Senator Rubio, and we've seen it by President Trump, all efforts to call into question the validity of this election when there is zero evidence of fraud. The only evidence that we've seen of problems in this election are the attempts by Senator Rubio, President Trump, and Governor Scott to try to undermine it. We having an additional person in the room Okay. Um, Just move that money. They've taken all of the